Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Klonoa Empire of Dreams. In the first video, we completed the first three stages of Gazaland. And now, we're gonna do Vision 1 4. If I don't get this after a few tries, I'll just do it off screen. And I will have the footage of the winning run. Other than that, let's go surfing. Take a break from the puzzles and go for a fun board ride. Keep an eye out for signs. If you see a course marker with a yellow circle in it, like the one I just went to, it's a board minigame. And here we are, jumping and doing things to get gems. And that's the first screen complete. Can I do the second one? Huh, I did the second one. Had to concentrate there, hence the silence, but I did it. Oh no, I messed that up. I wasn't supposed to jump over the enemy. Ah, I was supposed to press A at the top of the jump. But at least I got lives out of that. Then that was pretty cool. And by completing that, we get two more stages. So it's cool to play the mini games and get more stages that we have to go through. I'll go ahead and try it one more time. See if I can't horribly mangle this. Ah, uh, nah, I'm just going to continue. Besides, I can just go ahead and get lives anyway. I can just keep on getting lives doing this. Okay, I didn't have to do that, but I don't have to do the hover there, but it would have helped. A little made it a little more interesting. Ah! I'll go ahead and give it one more try, and if I can't do it, then... I'm just going to do it off screen, and then just do the running run that way. And we should be getting to the second screen right then and there. Love the fact that I can get extra lives over and over just by doing this over and over. Really useful. Really? Uh. And I messed up the hover. Great. And I messed that up too. That's, that's absolutely wonderful. And that's how you get that pair of gems in the very end of the stage. And I pretty much showed off what you need to do. I just need to do a complete run. And I'll do that at the start of the next video, and you'll see it there. I might as well just go ahead and go to Vision 1-5 now. Since I have a good supply of lives here, and we have slightly different music here, and I do love it. Music here isn't too bad in this game. Stuck? Don't worry. Just press start and select retry from the menu. You don't lose a life if that happens. But if you actually do use retry during the board minigames, you do lose a life. I guess it's to keep people from abusing the fact that you don't lose a life from retrying in the board game just to go to the back to the start in case they make a mistake. Then again, you probably shouldn't be doing it anyway because there are plenty of extra lives you can pick up in the board minigames anyway, which kind of defeats the purpose of using retry. Just keep going through them again and again. Just keep doing the same parts over and over. That way you can get extra lives and you don't have to worry about getting a game over in this game. It 
Makes sense. Also, we need to you. Ow. Oh. We need to use these two blocks to get anywhere in over here. And I know... Oh, I can't hover over there. Hmm. What if... Can I do it? We shall... Eh, well. However, what if... We throw this down. We get both of these down here and then throw this down. Give myself enough room to get behind between these two blocks. Get another enemy. Use these two blocks to get up here. There we go. Now let's try that again to get that gem. Because I know that I want to do that. There we go. Now to figure out how to get virtually anywhere. Well, first of all, we need to get the enemy again and get over here because going to the left from this point will take us nowhere and I didn't I did not have to do that. I did I was not supposed to do that. You see me jump here like 7 times already. Wait until you you get to the platform and then do it. Although these things these red things are gummies. Klonoa can grab a hold of them with a wind bullet. And when you do, you can jump off of them to get a little higher and also to get around as well. Which is very nice. Also, you can just move into a rope to grab it. You don't need to press up or down to when you're in front of it to climb onto the rope in the first place, you can just move into it and Plano will automatically grab. Also, I needed that enemy to get that gem. And this Gumi moves. Thankfully, we can get off when we need to to get over here. And I want that extra life. You can never have enough extra lives in basically any game, really. And I want to be very careful while getting these extra lives. Or these gems, rather. So that way, we don't hit the spice when we make our way to that key. And is there anything that we need? Well, you can use that guy to get back up here in case you need to. But I... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else over there. So let's just go ahead and go down the ladder. Wanted to be absolutely sure that there was nothing that I was missing, but you never know. And thankfully, in case you do need to find your way back, you can easily get there. Thankfully, the very the game is very good about that. Now, we do have this key, so let's go ahead and go through this door. Hmm... You really need. Oh, I. You, you do. I just realized you do need this block after all. So let's throw it all the way to the left so we can get it over here, and double jump to get the triangle key. And we're we're back. We're back to the start. And we can just make our way to the door. All gems collected. Everything completed. We're good. Now for Vision 1-6, we're collecting 100 gems again in a little minigame challenge. You can skip this and go to with Vision 1-7 if you want, but for this one, instead of riding around on a board, you are in an auto-scrolling stage. Be careful, if Klonoa falls behind or falls down, he will lose a life. Hurry, but don't be careless. And you better be hurt better be fast and careful so that way you can get all the gems in all these sections. And of course there's plenty of stuff that you can pick up. 
And you carefully want to make your way over here, grab that red, or blue gem, rather. And come on. Okay, we're caught up now. I may use this guy. Let's. Yeah, we do have to use this guy. Grab you. Grab you again. Do that. And I'm surprised I was able to grab that. And that. Thankfully, when you reach the end of the section, the stage stops scrolling. And you can easily make your way to the next one. As well as catch your breath in case you need to. Not all of us like... These auto-scrolling segments. Not everybody loves auto-scrolling. Me... Uh, it depends. But mostly I don't find it too much of a pain to deal with. And there we go. Okay. Alright. So far so good with these things. Do these things lead downward to anything? No, they don't. Doesn't seem like it anyway. Still want to be on my watchful best because you never know when you might have only a short amount of time to get something. And it doesn't look like there was much else to grab in that direction. Please tell me I didn't miss anything. I would hate to find out that I did. It won't seem like it at first, but... There we go. And there we go. Gotta be careful with that last platform because it moves a little faster, but... Once we make it to this thing, we get shrunken down, we get to enter this cannon, and we get to complete this stage. So at least we completed this one at least. And I believe that is a boss. That is indeed a boss. But I do want to play through 1-7. Because I do want to do more exploration. And I'm going to keep this guy around in case I need him for... Well, I was going to say anything, but that key will be all right. That's a good excuse. There you are. I'm going to grab you again just to be safe. Though I could have just as easily used the block there. You know what? I got an ID. idea. I have an ID, too. You should always have uh, identification in your wallet, but... I do have an idea. Let's put the block up there. Grab another enemy. Get up this platform. Get over here. Thankfully, the enemy is a little squishy. And then we can get up here. And I can't seem to go up there, but there is a way to be up there, apparently. So it probably doesn't seem that way at first. We can't get that up there. Hmm. Well, I guess all I can do now is to go forward to go up. So let's go ahead and go through that door there. And as long as you're holding the button while you're leaping on this trampoline, you will do the high jump automatically. It's not like you have to press the jump button just before you go up. At least the game is very merciful on that. Is that all? Or maybe you do. Okay, you do have to press the B button just before you go up. But at least it's not as, 
as badly handled as it is in some games. Looking at you, Castle of Illusion for Master System. You had a tough time doing it on that game. And we have some more exploration to do. And it looks like we're going to need a boost if we want to go anywhere up there. Or to get these gems as well. So, let's go ahead and use this enemy to get the gems. And... We're going to have to keep continuing to use the gummies to get to this ladder. There we go. That's it for that section. And it looks like we can go places, but... I feel like... We need to use the block there to get over there. And there we go. Now, we just need to use the block again, throw it all the way to the left, and we can go down another ladder. And to the left here, there's another extra life. We're now up to 22 already. That's amazing right there. And there's a heart. That is nothing but spikes. It's a good thing I checked around. We're going to need this guy because I'm pretty sure he's here for a reason. And that reason is to get to that Gumi. We now have all the gems. All we have to worry about now is getting that last gold star. And, hey, guess where we are? Back at the beginning. So we just looped around to the door. And we just got Vision 1-7 cleared. And this is basically it as far as... The amount of stages in the fighting land of Gazaland is concerned, so let's go ahead and fight the boss. I may die once here. Looks like some kind of arena. So where is this monster? Hmm. So you're next, huh? Scrawny, aren't you? This won't take long. Wow, he looks strong! We haven't a chance unless we attack him from the rear. Keep that in mind for the boss battle. And you want to be very careful as you fight this guy. I have done no practice run, so I have no idea how well I'm going to do. And you basically want to grab an enemy. You want to make sure he doesn't fall right on you. And you want to make sure that that wave does not hit you. Let's run under him. Throw the enemy we grabbed right at him. Let's watch where he goes. You don't want to be caught on the... You don't want him near the edge. Oh, boy. Yeah, sometimes he'll do that. But as long as you don't get hit by the waves of fire, this won't be too much of a pain in the butt to deal with. And there we go. After three hits, he's down. Boss clear. <laughs> what happened? Don't you remember? Um, I had a strange dream. I was really strong and champion of the world. But, then a red mist appeared. A red mist? Oh well. I guess that's why we shouldn't dream. Hmm. And with that, we can go to Priamil, the second world of the game. But I will be going back to Gazaland. Or the fighting city of Gazaland. I don't know why I was calling it the fighting the fighting land. And we already been through this cutscene. I want to go back over here. Can you go back to the Okay, you can go back to the world map from here. Good. You can just press start and go back from there. 
might want to go back to the fighting city of Gazaland so I can get the last 10 gems and get all the gems for Vision 1 4. And that will make up the start of the next video. Join me next time where Vision 1 4 is done and we head to Priamil. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!